am Hidayah. I'm Kavish. I'm Jason. We are the Norino. Girls who look tall, this thing can away. I know, I probably just do the. is how can we separate these trash according to their categories, especially tin cans? So we have an idea how to solve this problem. So by selling these tin cans, we can use the funds to improve our school facilities. This is a sketch of, of our product. The arrow shows the parts needed for the outside. The arrow shows parts such as solar panels, mounting board, keypad, door, token receiver, and the 16 times 2 display. As for their inside, servo, there are servo motors, ultrasonic sensors, breadboard, Arduino board, PVC piping, motion sensors, wires, battery holder with batteries, and LED strips. Every part here serves its own purpose. The design could be smaller as of right now, but as of right now, it shows enough room for every part. The CAD model shows it better than the sketching. I will now explain the price and quantity of the part that we need to assemble our product. Just to note a few, we need Cardboard which costs 10 ringgit each, PVC pipe which costs 1 ringgit 25 cent per meter, and battery holder for 1 ringgit 10 cent each. The total cost of our product is 150 ringgit. Well, it's best to say that when the students throw the trash in our bin, they will receive a token that can be used to exchange school supplies. Example, to get a piece of pencil, they must collect at least 5 tokens. After the bin is full, the school management will send the tin cans to the recycling center. To conclude, by using our product, it can give benefits to both students and teachers like improving students' attitude in recycle and decrease littering problems. The product can store cans by giving out tokens to the students. The tokens will be used to redeem a certain price. The product is easy to bring around. Our product is eco-friendly since it is powered by solar energy. The product can store the tin can systematically to prevent overflow inside the product. The tokens will be dispersed to the user upon storing the tin cans. Right.